Hi, and welcome to the Upgraded Scoot to Work demo. My name is Emily Frizzell, and I'm a senior consultant here at Scoot. Over the next couple of minutes, I will be showing you how to best utilize the Scoot to Work website. The first step is logging in at scoottowork.education. Your login information will be sent to you upon your activation via email. The first page that you will see when logging in is this home screen. Here you will be able to see your calendar and any bookings you have been confirmed into or tentatively placed in. You will also see at the top left hand corner, the ready to work button. This can be utilized the night before or the morning of a day where you have not been pre-booked. Clicking this button lets us know that you are up and ready to work to leave your house within five to 10 minutes of accepting an assignment. It also moves you to the top of our list of educators to place for that day. This button resets daily. As you can see, I have marked myself ready to work. You can also mark yourself not ready to work by clicking it twice and it will set your availability as not available. If you are hitting the ready to work button, there is no need to call into the office as Scoot receives a high volume of calls between 6 and 8 a.m. and answering educator calls impedes our ability to take calls from schools and get educators into classrooms. One of the most important tasks as an educator with Scoot, besides being an amazing sub, is making sure to mark your availability accurately. You will be able to mark this under the My Availability section. Here, you can change your ongoing and recurring availability. Let's check it out. Ongoing availability lets us know when you're consistently free or not free. Selecting a day in this window selects the entire day, morning, afternoon, and evening. If you wish to indicate your status by specific hours, please use the upcoming availability window. Here, you can update your ongoing availability. For example, if I am not free to work all Tuesdays and Thursdays, here I could unselect Tuesday, unselect Thursday, and press update days available. This lets my Scoot consultant know that I do not wish to receive assignments on Tuesdays and Thursdays because I am unavailable. Here, you can also select your upcoming availability. This is more of a day-to-day -day setting. For example, here, you can already see that Tuesdays and Thursdays have been marked unavailable for me. If I know there are other days in there where I need to be marked unavailable, I can do that as well. So for example, 22nd, I know that I won't be able to work that day, so I can mark that as unavailable. Another feature on this app is you can mark your availability by hours. So for example, on the 25th, if I know that I can only work in the morning, I would be able to set my availability by hours. So I would pick the hours that I was not available to work. So for example, I know that I'm not available afternoon. I'm going to select these hours so that it shows that the hours that I'm available are from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m submit and that way my consultant knows that I am available for any half day morning shifts but I am not available for the entire day. Also on the home screen is where you can see the days where you have been booked into assignments. The blue dot will show an assignment that you have been booked into. Here you can also see your assignments that you have accepted. A blue dot will show that you have already accepted the assignment. A red dot shows that you have tentatively been placed into an assignment. When receiving assignment requests, you will get a text and an email with a link in order to access. You'll see all you need to know about the assignment and the expectation is that you must accept or decline within two hours. Failure to respond to tentatives just tells us that you're not available for the day and we will be giving that assignment to someone else. If tentative assignments are not answered, it is less likely that we will be reaching out to you about other assignments on that day. Let's look at some other features of the app. Under my files, this section is a secure way to upload your documents for your consultant to review. For example, if you renew your teaching certificate, you can upload it here. The download section will contain files related to your employment as an educator. And the professional development section will keep track of events that your consultant team creates. 
An example might be an informational webinar on how to apply for or renew your teaching certification. Thank you so much for listening to the Scoop to Work demo. Thank you for all you do at our schools. And if you have any further questions about the app or the assignments that you receive, please do not hesitate to reach out to your consultant. Have a good one.